When walking, your head doesn't stay perfectly level. It pops up and down as you move. In this video, I'll show you how to add this effect in Godot. And if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in. So let's start by opening up Godot. And I've prepared a character body here with a collision shape, a mesh, and a node 3D holding a camera. I'm gonna rename the node 3D to head and I'm gonna make the head unique. So right click on the head and access as unique name. Do the same for the camera. Next, I'm gonna select the character body 3D and I'm gonna attach a new script. I'm gonna call it player and I'm gonna enable the template for basic movement. I'm gonna hit create and I'm gonna give it some basic camera movement as well with this code. Then I wanna export a group for the head bob variables and the variables I'm going to add will be head bob frequency. This is how often the head bob will happen. Then I'm going to add an export variable for the head bob amplitude. This determines how far up and down the camera will move. And then finally, a variable for keeping track on the head bob time along the sine wave. If we go down to the physics process under move and slide, we can make the head bob time plus equal delta multiplied by the velocity length. So that's how fast you're moving. And we're multiplying it by some floor, which returns true or false. So a one or zero. If you're in the air, you won't be head bobbing. Next, we can drag in the camera 3D into the script and set its transform origin equal to the head bob function. And the parameter we will be passing through to the function will be the head bob time. So let's next make the function. I'm gonna call this function head bob and it's gonna take in the head bob time. Then we'll make a variable for the head bob position. And then we set the head bob position y equal to this. And we set the head bob position x equal to this. And when we have made those calculations, we return the head bob position to the camera. So the camera 3D transform origin is made equal to the value that we return. And to make it more noticeable, I'm gonna add a CSG box next to the camera, scale it down a little bit and move it in front of the camera. Let's preview it and put it next to the side. Something like that. I'm gonna save it. And now I'm gonna play a level. I'm gonna hit play and you'll see as I move, it bobs up and down. And if I jump up here, it doesn't bob in the air and it's pretty nice. I'm going to be making a part two or follow up video to this adding footstep sounds in sync with the head bobbing. And I'll link that in the description when it's ready. This video was based on a tutorial by Legion Games and his video is linked in the description in case you want a more in-depth explanation. Thanks for watching and special thanks to the Kofi members for making this video possible. If you want to support my work and have your name featured in future videos, check out my Kofi in the description and I'll see you in the next one.